All right, looks like we have everybody joining us today, so let's get started here. First of all, welcome to everybody to the webinar. Um, we're going to go over a couple of housekeeping items before we get started here today. Everybody's going to be entered in mute only, uh, and they're going to remain muted throughout the presentation. We will be doing a question and answer session at the end of the broadcast, so please make sure you answer in any questions you have into the chat panel or question and answer panel, and I'm going to answer, make sure we get those answered at the end. Bit of as well, we're also going to be recording the video and sending out the video after the webinar as well. With that, let's get kicked off here today. I'm going to go over our agenda. First thing we're going to do is we're going to meet our presenters for the day. Then we're going to talk about why your company needs an asset recovery program. We're going to then talk about the different methods to recover value from obsolete inventory. Then we'll talk about strategic asset recovery, followed by solution comparison, and talk about which solution is best for your organization. And last, but certainly not least, we'll do a question and answer session. Meeting our presenters today, I'm joined by Michelle Lester, Steve Sapanovich, and of course myself. Michelle is a senior business development manager with over 25 years of experience working with industrial assets. At NRI Industrial, she specializes in providing strategic asset recovery solutions for multinational organizations, having, having surplus MRO, spare parts inventory, machinery, and equipment. Steve is an investment recovery specialist with over 25 years of business experience to help his clients manage their company surplus industrial assets. Steve has a vast knowledge of aspects of industrial equipment with an emphasis on storeroom MRO and industrial parts. Last but certainly not least, we have myself. I'm the marketing projects manager here at NRI. I have over 10 years of experience within the industry and I'm driven to help people and provide high quality content and experiences to both potential and existing clients of NRI. With that, I'm gonna hand it over to Steve. Steve, take it away. Thanks, Clayton. Welcome everyone, and it is a pleasure to be with you today. This section will be a high-level crash course to industrial asset recovery, which is a good place to start. Asset recovery is the process of recovering the capital spent on assets that are surplus to an organization's needs. Another simple explanation is asset recovery is the focus on surplus tangible assets that can be converted to another form of capital, such as cash. Of course, this can be either larger installed equipment and or obsolete inventory. But today we're going to focus primarily on storeroom obsolete inventory. Sometimes in the industry, this material is called surplus MRO, obsolete parts, storeroom surplus material, surplus industrial parts, and spare parts inventory. Asset recovery is certainly a process that every company needs to implement, and of course, there's always room for improvement within any organization's current asset recovery situation. So why should you care about asset recovery? Let's start with this common quote that's thrown around the asset recovery industry. On average, 20% of an organization's assets are surplus to its need. Now, this concept has been forwarded by the Investment Recovery Association, which is a professional organization dedicated to investment recovery. Now, some of you might say, well, you know, that's not true for my organization, but let's give it some deeper thought. Take a minute to think about your current inventory levels. Do you feel they are at the optimum levels? Think about your capital expenditure in the last year. Think about the redundant assets that are currently sitting in your plants. Do you have slow moving inventory? Do you, need, do you have a need for warehouse expansion? It's also interesting to note that because of the problems associated with COVID-19, many organizations are looking at ways to recover capital. Think about the value of the assets in your organization. Even if it's not 20%, I guarantee you, it's still a very large number. So here's a summary of an asset recovery benchmark study that was done by CAPS Research Group. They look at a group of about 40 enterprise organizations ranging from utilities to food processing to manufacturing. What they found was this. The cost benefit ratio for every dollar spent on asset recovery initiatives, there is a 27 times return. 91% of organizations utilize a centralized asset recovery model which means all asset recovery operations in a large company are handled from one group or one location. Conversely, a decentralized approach is when asset recovery operations are handled by the individual plant, which is very inefficient, there's no continuity, 
It's basically like the wild, wild west. Next, in the 40 organization survey, the average value recovered across all 40 organizations is $11 million plus per year. In 91% of organizations, asset recovery is a, is a function of supply chain. 65% of organizations outsource some aspect of asset recovery. Asset recovery can be managed internally, but there will be times when a company needs to hire outside help to manage their surplus. The, re the results of this study should give you a high level understanding of how mature organizations are managing their asset recovery. Let's talk about some of the benefits of asset recovery. When you go through an asset recovery process, your business benefits in a variety of ways. Number one, recover capital. This is the primary reason why most businesses will implement an industrial asset recovery strategy. Raising additional cash is always beneficial. Now more than ever because of COVID, cash is king. Number two, free up warehouse space. If storage space is becoming more and more expensive, you free up additional storage space that can be used for better purposes. I visit a lot of warehouses and a common complaint I hear is we need more space. Control inventory. Through an asset recovery strategy, you can reduce slow moving static inventory and storage, which allows additional storage space for inventory you don't regularly need. Tax benefits. In most cases, a tax benefit occurs. I have noticed that when the accounting department gets involved, an asset recovery plan moves to the top of the list. Environmental benefit. While not directly tied to financial benefits, environmental factors provide a very important benefit by preventing items from ending up in the landfill. I have talked to several very large companies that claim that this is the number one reason they want to resell their surplus material. Every company has a why, and they vary. Corporate sustainability. Investors want to see a corporate sustainability plan, and not having one can be costly to your organization. So how are organizations currently recovering value from their surplus inventory? Asset recovery can be looked at as a spectrum. So this begs the question, how do you rank your asset recovery program and how happy are you with the surplus management practices? So looking at the chart here on the Y axis, we have percent of value recovered. Anything south of the line is a negative value, which is where you don't want to be. On the X axis, we have asset recovery initiatives that you can implement to improve your asset recovery process. You've got everything from simply throwing your surplus in the garbage to implementing initiatives to proactively reduce surplus. And as you can see, as you improve the quality of your asset recovering processes, your recovery rates will increase as well. So in summary, what, you, what we are saying is that if your company is currently disposing or scrapping your surplus, there are significant improvements you can make to recover more of the value from your surplus. So what are some of the different methods of recovering value? Redeployment. Reuse the surplus within your organization. This is the best way to recover value. It's always plan A, if possible. This can be challenging because it takes a lot of effort to do this. I was at a plant last week in Alabama for example, and the plant manager was complaining that on several, of, on several occasions, they repurchased their own parts back on eBay. Things get very disorganized without a plan in place. Return to vendor, sometimes referred to as the OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturer. The OEM may give you a refund or credit toward future purchases, but we are not seeing this too much these days. I always ask the seller, if they tried this option before calling us, and I'm happy to say that almost everyone at least has called the OEM, but with very little success. Resell. The owner sells its surplus through various methods, including direct sales, auctions, consignments, and more. Educating yourself on the reselling options can be a challenge, but kudos to all of you for being here today. We will discuss the various reselling methods in more detail soon. Other options are, Scrap. Scrapping your surplus is an easy solution and the least profitable option. Very efficient, very inefficient, I should say, but easy to do. I have visited many plants over the years and I have discovered that this is the most common method when there is no asset recovery plan in place. Plant and storeroom personnel take the path of least resistance and throw the obsolete parts into the scrap bin. Donate. Donate material to a nonprofit organization. 
There is IRS code 170E3 that allows for a very generous tax benefit to certain, in certain situations, but not all assets can be donated. Dispose, throw in the dumpsters. You would be surprised how much this happens. I had a warehouse supervisor tell me last year that a person can make a living selling the parts that they throw into their dumpster. What do we see in the industry when it comes to planning? Most businesses approach this as a short term problem. This is the notion where you assume you have on, you, you only have to deal with surplus now. So you accumulate enough of it that it's a significant problem. And then you try to just unload your surplus back on the market. We do not recommend this approach and want to point you toward a much better and more profitable long term solution. Short term versus long term solutions. Short term fix is a very short sighted approach that we see a lot. It will be a reoccurring problem. It has a high impact on your operations and low recovery rates. Our hope is that you are here today because you want to improve your current situation and move towards a long term solution, which is integrated into your processes, has low impact on operations and high recovery rates. We deal and work with companies that use both of these solutions and the companies that have a long term solutions tend to be more profitable companies in every regard. A strategic approach to asset dispos disposition will yield higher recovery rates and minimize impact on your operation. Strategic is the key word here. The goal and hope for you is for you to realize that a strategic long term approach is the way to go. You should follow this process when dealing with surplus. Notice the decreasing recovery rates as you go from left to right. Asset management. We've talked about redeployment and return to vendor. Always plan A and the first option you try, but not always possible though. Asset recovery. This is our main focus today. We are going to discuss the resale options in a moment. Scrap, not good for asset recovery option by a long shot. Asset disposal, donate and dispose are certainly options, but not good ones. So we talked about how you should be managing your surplus. Let's talk about how the industry actually manages their surplus. We are going to show you some of the most common ways of dealing with surplus and the benefits and drawbacks of each. This slide shows four ways to resell your obsolete inventory. The auctioneer, he liquidates assets on your behalf. When talking about the auctioneer, it is important that you understand two definitions. Forced liquidation, which is the process of liquidating assets in a time constraint environment where assets must be sold within a certain period of time, regardless of price. Forced liquidation generally yields recovery, lower recovery compared to orderly liquidation. Orderly liquidation is a process of liquidating assets in a reasonable time frame with an emphasis placed on recovering the highest value. The auction process is a forced liquidation scenario and not a good fit for surplus obsolete inventory. The reseller buys and resells assets. A company comes in and purchases your obsolete inventory with the intent to resell it. The scrap dealer buys assets for scrap. Fast and easy transaction time frame, but because of its low recovery rates, not recommended for obsolete parts. The marketplace is self-directed selling online where you manage your own asset recovery process. Think eBay. In your garage, you have a lawnmower that you would like to sell on eBay. You take the pictures, you write the descriptions, and you upload to the website, and hopefully a buyer sees it and purchases it. Ideal for clients looking to manage their own asset recovery process, but not ideal for absolute uh, obsolete inventory, but it certainly is an option. So let's compare these solutions and the recovery rates that the industry typically offers. Direct sale. The seller goes out to bid and sells to the highest bidder. The buyer writes a check and takes the material away. Recovery is two to 5% of original book value. Auction. You hire an auction house to liquidate your surplus inventory. Recovery is 1% to 4% of original book value with fees ranging anywhere between 25 and 40%. Remember that this is a forced liquidation process. Scrap. I hope you realize by now that this is a very poor solution 
for valuable obsolete parts. Assets are shipped off to the scrapyard with low returns of zero to 1%. The marketplace, you list assets for sale on an online marketplace. Recovery is two to 10% of original book value. Fees are zero to 10% of the final sale value, depending on what is being sold. We feel that the current solutions the industry offers are very subpar and there are better options available to increase your returns on the sale of your surplus obsolete inventory. Well, thank you. And at this time, I'm going to hand you off again to Clayton. Thank you, Steve. Before we talk more about our inventory focused solu recovery solutions, I want to tell people a little bit more about who NRI is. So NRI, we manage, we specialize in the management, marketing, sales of used and surplus industrial assets across multiple industries. We have operations currently in over four countries. We've completed 146 projects. We've been in business for 17 years, and we've managed more than 60, $650 million of book value of inventory for our clients. 98% of the materials that flow through our warehouse are recycled and we have over 500,000 items in stock with over 100 dedicated staff, and we were rated the 147th fastest growing company in Canada. With that, I'm gonna pass it over to Michelle Lester as she takes us through our solution for selling obsolete inventory. Michelle, you are muted at the moment. You'll have to take yourself off mute. Thank you, Clayton and Steve. Hi all, um, I'm Michelle, nice to meet you all today. Steve, great information on the other vendor services and solutions. As those selling outlets are good, in the next few slides, I'll be introducing you to NRI solutions and why these are the best recovery methods out there to support and enhance your asset recovery initiatives. I've been working with clients globally sourcing solutions for their specific needs. I travel having multi-language support to accommodate all your needs here I will introduce you to NRI's three primary solutions for selling obsolete inventory at the highest recovery rates. We offer a direct purchase option, whereas we acquisition of industrial assets focusing on MRO and spare parts. This is a very simple, easy, and quick transaction. Consignment, this allows our clients to leverage our sales channels, warehousing, and logistics. This is a great option for businesses with ongoing surplus generation, maximizing recovery over a period of time, freeing up much valuable warehouse space, as Steve mentioned. The marketplace provides you with access to Octo.com, where you can sell your assets from anywhere in the world. This is ideal for clients looking to manage their own asset re recovery who is able to self-liquidate. NRI acquires surplus MRO, indirect inventory, and industrial equipment no longer required for your operations. To get started, we provide a free desktop valuation of a detailed asset list or site visit accommodation, make you a direct purchase offer, payment prior to shipping, we manage all costs and logistics. This is a very fast and simple solution. The scope is a list of parts or uh, an entire manufacturing facility. The time frame is two to three months. Terms as is where is, the logistics is turnkey, payment upon agreement, and the recovery value is two to 6% of book value. Our marketplace services. Why Octo is different. It is an industrial only marketplace where clients can use to self liquidate surplus items. You are able to leverage a powerful industrial only marketplace where assets can be marketed and sold online to a large global buyer base with 145,000 registered buyers. Unlike a traditional auction service, Octo offers complete transparency, total control and higher net recovery rates for asset owners. Octo.com is a platform of choice for businesses who have an internal group to list and sell their fixed capital assets. The process, the client lists assets directly on the Octo.com marketplace. Timeframe is three to 10 weeks. Logistics, winning buyer pay is responsible for shipping. Payment is prior to shipping. The recovery rate is five to 10% of book value. And the reporting software is Octo.com seller tools. 
So far, we have shared a variety of asset recovery solutions. By far, the best solution is our consignment service. Clients of ours on this webinar right now would attest to the success and value in this program, which I'll be comprehensively sharing with you all. My clients have faced past consignment programs with dissatisfaction, no transparency, no visibility. So I've asked them for 30 minutes of their time to introduce NRI's consignment program, and I'm told during the call every time, this is the best ever. These partnerships are continued success expanding the program throughout their business core into their global sectors. Our consignment solution is utilized with clients having multiple operations, uh, US-based and multinational having an ongoing generation of surplus assets. As an industry expert, NRI's consignment solution allows clients to maximize recovery from their surplus while recovering valuable space at their facilities. Consignment yields the highest returns on surplus. NRI's consignment program provides real-time, live-to-the-second reporting on sales and inventory on its proprietary consignment portal to be introduced later in this presentation. I'd like to highlight some of our clients that are receiving higher than book value utilizing our state-of-the-art consignment program. So about the program, the scope includes MRO, indirect inventory, and obsolete inventory. The process is the client ships their assets to one of NRI's facilities. We also can manage the logistics for you. The complete recovery timeframe is eight to 14 months, and we hold inventory up to 24 months. Logistics, clients ship to NRI, payment is monthly. The recovery is 25 to 40% of book value. The reporting software is an inventory and sales reporting portal. I'm now going to introduce you to our consignment process. This is the first step is our valuation, receiving and auditing. Valuation, NRI inspects equipment electronically or on site, offering you an estimated selling value. Receiving. Material receives at one of NRI's processing facilities where a project code is assigned, which is unique so that your materials are allocated to your program. Audit, shipment is validated for completeness. NRI's processing staff verify the shipment to confirm quantities and ensure items are complete and free from damage. The second step is our preparation, cataloging and storage. Cleaning and dismantling. Equipment that needs to be dismantled into smaller components is broken down. Used in surplus equipment is cleaned and prepared for photography. Barcode assignment. All items are barcoded and scanned into NRI's proprietary inventory system. All items are assigned a SKU number and can be recalled at any time. Imaging. Each item is individually photographed. High resolution images of the item are then uploaded into NRI's inventory program. We record all technical specifications, catalog each item into NRI's database, processors record model number, specification, and applications, and input them into the database through NRI's listing application. Market price validation. NRI's market intelligence scans pricing across the web and ensures the items are priced competitively against the market. Quality assurance personnel also ensure that the images and descriptions comply with NRI's quality policies. The listing is then pushed live across NRI's sales channels. Storage. Items are stored in a secure climate controlled warehouse. NRI utilizes a bin location and barcode system to identify stored inventory. Step three is our marketing and sales channels. NRI has sold millions of items to hundreds of thousands of buyers in over 120 countries. This includes uh, resellers, end users, OEMs, developing markets, and commodity buyers. NRI's digital market promotion is utilized on platforms such as eBay, Alibaba, Amazon, Octo, direct sales, and NRI parts. 
along with 32 plus other marketing partnership sites. This is an example of our real-time omni-channel cross-marketing of a single listed item. As you can see here, this item listed across four major markets along with other marketing partner sites. Step four is our process in shipping, payments, and fund distribution. An invoice is generated, the buyer is invoiced for the sale amount, NRI is responsible for collecting and remitting sales tax. Payment collection. Buyer is required to make full payment prior to shipping. Shipping. NRI fulfills the order and ships sold items to the buyer. Buyers are responsible to pay for shipping to this destination. Fund distribution. NRI distri distributes funds generated through sales on a monthly basis. Step five is our reporting and audit process. This here is NRI's proprietary web-based consignment user portal. This is your one-stop shop for inventory tracking, sales, payouts, and inventory recalls from all of your plants or facilities subscribed to the program. On this portal, you will be able to track what was shipped, processed, and sold in live time. On the dashboard slide, you can view sales proceeds, upcoming payments, item processing path, new inventory, just sold items, and recent payouts. On the processed inventory slide, you can view all inventory processed. Each item, as you can see here, is a comprehensive item listing of each item processed. The portal gives you full visibility down to a very granular level, which our clients find this portal very user-friendly and easy to use together with highlighting its transparency and visibility. Consignment portal highlights. Here uh, included is web-based, access anywhere with a simple internet connection. Multi-user, individual logins for an unlimited number of users across your organization. Inventory reporting, live to the second reporting, view all inventory as is processed, sold, and shipped. Identify items for recall, reference your own stock codes. Financial reporting, pull reports on sold items, pending payments, and upcoming payments. Download capability. This is great for any of your finance, controllers, maintenance people. All of the reports can be downloaded in PDF or CSV. Reporting and auditing is provided in the con consignment portal as well. You can track all shipments, inventory, sales payments, and recalls. The recall function is a very desirable by our clients. If you send an item that you discover needing back, into your operations, at a click of a button, you can recall any item to any facility in one click. And even easier, when you use your own reference numbers, you plug that in and the item immediately pops up. The only cost associated is the shipping cost to its final destination. So here is uh, a client's success story. This case study is how our consignment solution supported asset recovery for a large North American manufacturer with multiple operations across the world. A no cost valuation was performed to determine all of the client surplus. A multiple prolonged sales solution included consignment, auction sales, and private treaty sales, and a streamlined logistics process managed by NRI. With the help of our multifaceted asset recovery strategy, our client was able to achieve the below results. 1.6 million recovered from surplus and used equipment in less than one year. Over 20,000 SKUs processed for resale and 21 tons of commodities recycled. As we've shared a lot of asset recovery information with you today, before I wrap up this session to our key takeaways, below is some of our higher level asset management solutions we offer. We would be happy to talk to you in further detail about each of the additional services here. We have a redeployment program. With our SAMS redeployment software, you can gain visibility on surplus assets across your organization and redeploy assets instead of purchasing. Externally ideal for clients with multiple operations and business units. Warehousing, 
reduce the cost of holding surplus by leveraging our warehouse and logistic capabilities. This is ideal for clients that are generating surplus on an ongoing basis. Peer industry marketing. We can provide visibility on your surplus across your peer industry. Ideal for clients looking to share inventory with peers in the industry. The embedded arm. We can provide a qualified integrator between your operations and asset recovery services. Ideal for clients looking to integrate investment recovery in supply chain. Key takeaways. Adopting a strategic approach to asset recovery will allow you to recover more value. Surplus identification is an ongoing process. Understand what selling method is best for obsolete inventory and leverage strategic vendors. Thank you to our loyal clients who have kindly joined us today, having found success utilizing our core business solutions and for everyone else here seeking a new asset recovery strategy. Thank you for your time in joining us and for your interest in today's informational session on learning more about NRI's asset recovery solutions and services we offer. We hope you enjoyed today's webinar. We look forward to working with you and finding a solution specific to your asset recovery challenge. At this time, I'm going to hand it back to Clayton, our moderator. Um, we do have, I will flash our contact details on the screen right here again. So you can contact us via the phone send us an email or visit our website at any time. And we would like, love to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you again. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out at any time.